my best ideas tend to come late at night. In this case, my idea came at 11.13pm while watching Linus's latest video. I had decided that I was bored with Boris 2000, my i7-4790K sleeper PC that was never completed due to a cancelled school LAN party. Boris 2000 had a couple of issues that prevented me from easily completing it. The main issue was the proprietary power supply form factor that was bigger than SFX but smaller than ATX. Then I thought about it. A few hours prior to this, I had bought my ITX gaming PC a new motherboard. Because I bought this Asus H97i Plus, I now had a spare ITX board lying around, an H81i Plus. Under the hilariously large fan in comparison to the board is a Pentium G3240, not exactly a formidable chip in the number crunching department, but it'll have to do for now. While this board is certainly a budget oriented board, it is relatively well featured, with gigabit LAN, USB 3 and HDMI on the back. It has a front panel USB 3 connector, an LGA1150 socket, two DDR3 DIMM slots. What more do you really need? So, where am I going to put it? Well, I intend to answer that question now. Now, I could have gone with an iMac G3. Therein lies two issues. The curved 15-inch CRT means that I would have to use a 15-inch LCD, which would look terrible in terms of the fit and the 1024 by 768 column resolution. The other issue is that it would involve the destruction of an iMac G3, which are becoming hard to find in New Zealand now. If I was going to build inside of an iMac G3, I would just put a Mac Mini inside of it. Or a Hackintosh, maybe. Maybe a speaker? No, not this time. Then it hit me. No, literally, I tripped over the damn thing. I thought, why not use a CRT monitor? I got given one recently as part of a vintage IBM computer auction, and I know that it hasn't been powered on in over a year. And the fact that it's 17 inch and flat glass means that it has a perfect mounting location for a 17 inch 1280 by 1024 panel. So I went with that. It's a ViewSonic E70F from 2003. Disassembly of the ViewSonic E70F surprised me. It was incredibly easy. All I had to do was remove four Phillips head screws and the back just came off. I was left with this. After removing the four Phillips head screws that held the CRT itself onto the bezel, I was easily able to take it out and find out that it was a Samsung CRT. I was left with this case. Even some of the ports line up. 